And what I find is that when I go into businesses, they're all very into this particular new bit of technology and very into this particular bit of understanding. And they're not actually thinking about what a good decision looks like. The first thing that's affecting business is that people now have real choice. I tell you what, please very quickly just all stand up. Yeah, okay. And only remain standing if what you do, what you sell, can't fundamentally be got somewhere else. No surprise, the guy from Nando's has remained standing. <laughs> Which is really good. So what business are you in, sir? Retail. What business are you in, madam? Children's clothing, madam? Publishing, sir, with the glasses. Retail, okay. So, I would argue that the big thought here is, you all sat down when I asked you if what you were selling couldn't be got somewhere else. And quite rightly you did, okay? But then when I ask you what business you're in, you say retail, children's clothing, food, banking, whatever it is. And the reality of the matter is, that you're actually in the business of being chosen. Uh, yeah, we know that. No, but do you really know that? Because if you actually start thinking about that fundamental point, not thinking about whether your bread is freshly baked, not thinking about what your APR is, but actually thinking about what we're doing, is that going to get us to be chosen more often by more people? Then you'll start making different decisions. And the beauty of that thought process is that it's easily understood. Because the simple truth is, people need a reason to choose. And if what you're selling isn't unique, the way you do it had better be. Trust is at the heart of branding. Because that's actually about emotional belonging. It's how it all started. Clay clay plates, the person the maker, you just put a thumbprint on it. And then we got into branding and all that sort of stuff. And I think the best way of explaining this is to look at the, the humble t-shirt. How much would you expect to pay for a t-shirt, a white t-shirt? Ten quid? Five? Cheaper? What? Shout it out. One ninety-nine. Okay. What happens if I just put some blue dye on it? Same, one night you're not going to pay for ink, are you? That's ridiculous. Yeah? Then why do people pay 50 pounds for that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I... Quick, give me another slide. <laughs> Whatever. Hey! But think about it, just all joking aside, right? You all called out. 199 we ended up with, right? And yet you actually do pay 50 quid for this, yeah? If you want a demonstration of branding in action, think about it. And it ain't that technical. It can be technical. I can talk to you about it technically. But it's actually about belonging. It's about sending signals. And at the heart of that is actually trust. And as human beings, we're all cognitive misers, aren't we? I didn't know what it meant either until someone told me. <laughs> Do you know what it means? OK, let me explain. This is quite a well-known test. What I'm going to get you to do is read these out. Red, blue, green, yellow. White, pink, red, black, yeah? All together. Red, blue, green, yellow, white, pink, red, black, red. Red, red, red. Blue, yellow, gray, white, red. Why did you stumble? And what happened? What happened? Yeah. Black is grey. White is orange. Because your brain doesn't like that. Our brains like things to be easy. OK? So as human beings, we like things to be easy. That is the future of retail. Yeah? So every day, in every way, do you make sure that you make it easy for your clients to do business with you? 
Do you charge people that work with you to make it easy for the customers? Or if you're actually there in contact with the customers, do you say, right, let's move these stupid trolleys out of the front entrance of the supermarket and put them there because they're actually stopping people getting in? Or shall we do this or shall we do that? Do you do that in your business? Do you rearrange things so it's really easy? You're saying yes. Yep. OK. And what did you do yesterday? Um, so I moved through here around the store so the friends could get through. That's brilliant. What did you do the day before? Uh, the same thing on all. Oh, so you do the same thing every day? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No, 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 no. I understand the point, but you take my point. Because yeah. as you say, if prams can't get through, right, then that should never happen again. What's the next thing we're going to do to make it easy? If I was running this hotel, I'd actually let people know exactly where B1 was, and actually I'd let people know where the lavatories are, right? Doesn't matter how good the equipment is if all the frilly bits around the edge don't work. That's what you've got to be charging yourselves with. So charge yourselves with it. Not because you've done it one day or two days, it's every single day. What could be easier? What, how could we make it easier for customers to say yes and to close the deal? And we're going to go on to that, but just think about technology.